Hi, I'm Ed Hall, and we're here at Bike Works and BW Cycling Studios in Harleysville, Pennsylvania, to talk to you today about how to buy the right bike. So after the interview, it's very important in a bike fitting to have a flexibility assessment done. What we're looking for within flexibility when it, in terms of how a person's going to sit on the bicycle is going to be lower back flexibility, hamstring flexibility, and hip flexor flexibility. The lower back flexibility we check by your typical hamstring stretch where you stand up, bend over, and touch your toes or as far down as you can go. Having the individual bend their knee and we move their knee up towards their chest, sliding our hand underneath their pelvis, at the top of their pelvis. As we bring back the knee towards the chest, we'll feel when the pelvis starts to rotate. That's when we reach the maximum flexation of the hip flexor, and that tells us where we can be. So at that point, we will then measure with our goniometer, which is a wonderful little angle finding tool. And that'll help to tell us how far Mike can bend forward with his hip flexor. We also then look at hamstring flexation, which we do the same way, but at this point we leave the knee straight and we lift the leg up, keeping the knee locked. And we run the hand underneath the small of the pelvis again, the small of the back, and we rotate forward until we feel that pelvis move. And that's when we know we've reached the maximum hamstring flexation. We then measure that with our goniometer, and that again tells us, you can sit up, Mike, that again tells us about how far the saddle height can be, and how far back the saddle can be for proper power and within the limits of Mike's flexation. After our interview and our flexation measurements, we then move over to a full skeletal measurement. It's a seven point measurement system that we use to measure Mike's body to understand his skeletal structure. That'll help give us more coordinates on the bicycle. The interview and the flexibility assessment help us to understand Mike's muscular system and how it works and how it will limit him when he's on the bike. And the skeletal measurements will help us to understand Mike's skeletal structure and how that will help him sit on the bike. What I'm going to show you now is the importance of flexibility on the bike. What I'm going to show you now, this is Mike's riding position. We've worked with Mike for a number of hours. We've gotten his position dialed in so it's going to work. This is what Mike's new bike is going to feel like when he rides it and how he's going to be perfect. You'll notice his back is nice and flat. His shoulders are nice and square to his head. He has very little weight on his hands and very relaxed in his upper body. Okay. Now, this is a position that Mike can ride in all day. You'll be able to go out there and do 50, 100 miles and not have discomfort or pain or hand numbness. Fitting first will always get you on a better performing bicycle. No matter what your budget, no matter what your material choices would be, and no matter what your drivetrain choices or wheels would be. Always fit first and you will be able to be a more efficient, more comfortable, and more happy cyclist.